Hey, good morning everybody. This is Matt Reisinger with Reisinger Homes. Welcome to my video blog on green building and building science. I'm here at a house uh, that we're just about done with. My painting crew is uh, doing the final touches over here. We're going to move these clients in in just a few days. And I wanted to do a quick video on uh, the bath fan strategy that we use in this house and some of the fans that I like to work with in my homes. Um, let me show you the powder bath first. The powder bath in this house, uh, just obviously a, a, just a toilet and a sink, mainly just used for uh, guest purposes, that sort of thing. And typically in powder baths, you'll see a very noisy fan. And I don't know if, I don't know if it's coming across in the video very well, but that, that fan that's up there is just your basic $20 uh, bath fan. They're typically fairly noisy. Bath fan noise is where you get zones. And uh, fans that are above two zones are considered very noisy. Fans that are below two zones are, are considered fairly quiet. That fan is probably somewhere uh, close to three zones. It's a fairly noisy fan. However, I kind of like those for my powder baths um, because when you're in the powder bath and you're a guest, you actually like a little bit of uh, cover fire, so to speak, for your uh, for noise. So I think that's perfectly appropriate for a powder bath, and in fact, probably wanted for a powder bath. However, in other areas of your house, like your master bath, for instance, here's the uh, master bedroom in this home. Pretty house, isn't it? But uh, in the master bedroom, for instance, we don't want those real loud fans because we actually want to use those fans and we want our clients to be able to talk to each other and not feel like they're drowned out in uh, white noise. So come on back here to the master bath area of this house. And I'm going to show you the fans that we use in the master bath. So we've got two very distinct fans in here by Panasonic, which is really my favorite uh, bath fan manufacturer. That one in the ceiling, kind of a large box, that's actually a fan heater combo uh, by Panasonic. They've redesigned them recently. They're a little sleeker than where they used to be, uh, quite a bit more bubbled. Uh, these are much nicer, a little more contemporary looking. Let me turn that on while the camera's closed, see if you can hear it. I don't know if you can pick up that noise in the video. Let me be silent for one more second. Not much noise at all. That's probably somewhere around one stone or, or uh, maybe 1.2, something like that. That's the, that's the exhaust fan going. Let me turn that off and I'm going to turn the, uh, the heater fan. These are basically a resistance heater fan. It's kind of like having a hair dryer in your ceiling. Here in, in Texas, we don't use those a whole lot, uh, except for a few days a year when your bathroom might be slightly chillier. So uh, they're nice to have. They're not super expensive, and they do provide some auxiliary heat. Then the other fan that we use a lot in our houses is this Panasonic. Um, they make several different varieties. I believe this is the uh, Whisper series fan. And uh, this fan is very, very quiet, and it's really what you want in, uh, in all of your bathrooms. This one is probably somewhere around 0.5 zones, even quieter than the other one. I don't know if the video is picking that up, but it's a very, very quiet fan. We like to put all our fans on uh, countdown timers if we can. And really in areas like uh, toilet areas and shower areas, those fans need to run for a long time. So that countdown timer is real handy so that you can press a button, have that, have that timer count down, and have that fan turn off at a certain period of time. And let's say in this master, we might be brushing our teeth in here um, next to your wife you don't want that fan drowning out your noise and you're being tempted to turn it off because you can't hear each other. Um, so that's why I think these very quiet fans are totally worth the money. So I think I mentioned that, that powder bath fan, a noisy one, where we want a little bit of noise, about $20 for one of those. Um, these Panasonic fans are somewhere in the $100 to $150 range per fan. So it's a little bit of an upgrade, but boy, they make a, a big difference um, from comfort and from uh, noise factor. Also for durability, these fans are going to last really for decades, these Panasonic fans. Very nice upgrade. And from a building science perspective, the idea on the exhaust fan is we're exhausting the moist, humid air out of this bathroom so it doesn't have a chance to do bad things to my hardwoods, for instance, um, or to other things that are moisture sensitive in the house and could cause mold growth or other things like that. So we really want to pull that moisture out of our bathrooms. So please consider the Panasonic line of uh, bath fans when you're considering your new build or remodel. Thanks for joining everybody. We'll see you next time.